Yes, sir. Bad Speaker Podcast, man. It's your boy, Shaw. It's your boy, G Downs. Hey, man. We uh, back with another episode, episode 13, man. Hey, first, before we start, shout out to uh, Ambrosio Clothing for uh, sending us the gift, man. We appreciate y'all for sending oh, yeah. us the merch. Fresh gift, fresh gift. Appreciate um, that. You know, had to shout y'all out, man, because that's major love over there. Um, make sure you go out there, follow us on Instagram at Bad Speakers Podcast. Make sure you follow us on Twitter at Bad Speakers. Make sure, you know, you check in. You know what I'm saying? No TikTok at Bad Speakers Podcast also, man. But look, we have a down south Atlanta legend in the building today, man. Straight up. Yes, Some of your favorite artist's career was jump-started by this man, <laughs> even though they didn't, you know, reciprocate it when they came back around. Right, yeah, We're right. going to keep this shit real now. <laughs> yep. uh, man, look, if you don't know, you know what I'm saying, one of the, to me, one of the best lead-off albums I've ever fucking heard. That's real. Life. Um, straight up, man. You already know, man. We got Pastor Troy in the motherfucking building. Hey, what's, what's happening? What's happening? What's happening? Man, look, man. man. We appreciate you pulling up today. It's bro. all you good. Legend, bro. You just it. don't know, bro. Well, I'm going to keep on this. You. No dick rhyme, man. I'm going to keep yeah. this shit real, bro. Like, man, when that shit came out, bro, no more playing GA. Whew. That was it. Bro. Nah, man. I remember that shit like yesterday. I'm going to tell you something, bro. <laughs> I was on a bus. We was in middle school. Yeah. I had a Walkman. This yeah. man came on the bus with yeah, a cassette tape. tape. <laughs> yeah. Put the cassette tape in the Walkman. Doom. Oh, man. I said, what the fuck is this shit? <laughs> I'm not like, damn, boy, that nigga hard as fuck. So he, put me, he put me on to you, bro, back in middle school. So, For real? What school y'all went to? Um, East Cowboy. East Cowboy, the high school. East we went to, uh, well, he went, we went to Central. Central Middle School. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh-huh. Down there in uh, Noonan, Georgia. That's you know good. Yeah, yeah. 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 yeah, that's uh, true. A guy from actually Sandy Creek uh-huh. gave it to me. I don't know. <laughs> I can't remember his name. I had a class with him, but he gave it to me. Man, I was like, "What?" It was something that we never heard. Never heard before, man, dog, man. man. And what's so crazy about it, man? What made it was so different? I made the beat, man, and going to the studio for the first time, man. I go in there with my beat machine and stuff. Yeah. I'm like, uh, yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready to drop the beat. The engineer was like, uh, all right, you need to separate the bass. You need to separate the snare and do all this stuff. I said, nah, we just play it out the out the earphone jack. It'll be all right. Yeah. <laughs> Homer was like, nah, man, yeah. it's a real studio. Yeah. You got to have all them beats separated and all that stuff, man. He was like, don't even waste your time and your money. Go home. Come back when you're ready. I'm like, this motherfucker like sent me home. <laughs> Bro, I go yeah. to the crib, figure out how to separate them beats. Slide back in there, man, probably about a week or so. He was like, you ready? I'm like, I'm ready, man. I pushed play back on it, man, after he hooked that joint up. I just remember that joint just saying, boom, 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 boom. Them gunshots. Oh, the bass everything. by itself. Yeah. Boom. Oh, the snare by itself. Man, bro. What did, no, history, what did no more play in GA come from anyway? Like, where you get that concept? Like, what made you want to come uh, up with a song like that to kick it off? Man, just the whole No Limit. You know how the No Limit had that thing at the time, man. Mm-hmm. They were just dropping so much. Hell, we were listening to Mo No Limit in Atlanta, and they were listening to in New Orleans. They was on fire, but you know what? That's crazy though. You was you was listening to No Limit, but I, you know I had a follow up question. But I guess I can ask you now. Uh-huh. What was the uh, the issue with you and Master P? It wasn't even no issue to me, man. It was just we wanted in. Yeah, you were just Georgia. like we ready. And, yeah, you know man, what I'm saying. Georgia. You know what, man? The first concert I ever went to was a Master P concert. Okay, down there in Augusta, and. You know, it's a cool show, good show and everything, right. man. But while I was just a young nigga sitting out in that crowd, man, I was saying, This ain't it. Yeah. Uh, I can get with this shit. Yeah. You feel me, man? I got yeah. a story to tell too. Already. We can get with this shit. Um go look go back to when you was when you was making the album. Did you make all the beats on there too? Man, I did uh I did probably six. There's twelve songs on there. I did six completely and then I did the drums on the other six. Okay, okay. So yeah. you had a little help with some of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you record it at yourself at like your like did you have like a studio you went to? Yeah, you... man. It was uh called Studio South in Augusta, Georgia. Studio South down wow. in Augusta. Was that yeah, the man. only was that the only uh album you recorded there? Huh? Man, that was the only album, man. We did that album about ten days, man. We had ten days of studio time. We just went straight through the whole thing. Yeah, you must have been in a zone because I'm talking about bro, I can play that shit from the whole I can't skip no songs. Yeah, man. That joint, man, you know. It was so crazy, man, to really write. It was like I was almost like uh, reporting. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You feel me, man? Being down there in Augusta, man, in the yeah. trap, in the thick mm-hmm. of all that shit, police, not all this shit, yes, just in it. And want something more out that joint, man. I, like, I listened to that first album, man. I could hear 
the want in my voice. I hear yeah. the despair in my voice, man. Mm-hmm. You feel me? That shit was sounding. It sound all or nothing. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? So, so it's good. You, let, let's, let's go back. So you grew up in College Park, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm from here. I'm from here. But, but it seemed like once you got popping, it's like more people started saying he was from Augusta more than College You know what? Park. So I was from, a, you know, I. that's why my whole thing was down South Georgia boys instead of a city because I rep both of them cities, mm-hmm. man. You gotcha. feel me? I rep both of them cities. I was in... I'm from Atlanta, and that's all cool and dandy, but Augusta was the first niggas to respect me as a rapper. Right, right. So I can't goddamn yeah. shit on them, that's you know respect, what I mean? Yeah. So I sell them, yeah, Mike, Mike or Troy, the niggas that know me from school, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm from Atlanta. But Pastor Troy, from he from Augusta. Gotcha, yeah, gotcha. man, so. And your name came from kind of your dad. Yeah, yeah, my dad, my dad, Pastor Troy, man, real right. dope. So how, how did that work out, you know, your dad being a pastor, and then you decide to be a rapper yeah. and then put that pastor in front of your, you know, your name being an artist out here. How did how did that man it was really how do you dope, feel about man. that? And you know what, man, it was so crazy because one of my homeboys heard me rapping down there at the college. I ain't have a name. I was just, you know, rapping. Mm-hmm. Man, homeboy, I got finished saying my little verse, or whatever, man. He was like, Pastor Troy. <laughs> I was like, man, right. why, why you call me that? He was like, man, it sounds like you a preacher when you be rapping, man. <laughs> nah, yeah. for real, I bro. Said, man, that's a tight name. <laughs> yeah. I told me, I got to ask my daddy, can I use it? Yeah, it man, cool. went back to holler at Pops, man. was like, dad, man, I want to, you told me I could be anything I want to be, man. I think I got it. I want to be a professional rapper. He like, right. niggas, you. <laughs> <laughs> right, right, right. But he got it. You know what I mean? Uh-huh. He got it because there's a whole bunch of other shit a nigga been, could have been trying yeah, to do. Right, you know right, what I mean? Or right. not trying to do nothing at all, man. Mm-hmm. So. I'm glad that he gave me that that push because who don't want to make their parents happy? Right. right. So he believed in you from the beginning? Yeah, he believed in it, man. He believed in it. Did he ever get into your music being a pastor like that? Man, you know what? He took my CD to the to church, uh, you know, and told his congregation and everything. He ain't open the CD, whatever. Oh, wow. He just told everybody to just pray for me and everything, man. So <laughs> yeah. it's been cool, man. Oh, now, man. Doing the right thing by it, man. Seeing the success I have, man. People seeing him out and about and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Like, man, just I learned so much from your son, music and mm-hmm. this, that, that. Man, he always keep God in his music and this yep. and that. So he liked that. He appreciate that, man. I'm glad that he gave me the opportunity to do what I do, man. Especially those songs like that, man. Giving me the ability to do the Oh Fathers and mm-hmm. vice versa and, and stuff like that. Giving me that kind of commentary. It, so. It's dope. So go on, sorry, go ahead. Um, so what I was what I was gonna ask you for for the new generation that might not caught your wave because I know you came out what 98, 99? Yeah, 98, 99. The DSGB came a little later. So you saying DSGB that just means like you just representing the whole South in general. State, like it ain't it ain't yeah. no specific city. Yeah, man. Is it a group or down south Georgia boys? We put a group album out and okay. everything, man, but it ain't nothing for me to just see somebody in the street with a DSGB tattoo or a female yeah. with a down south Georgia girl tattoo. But the album was hard too, though. Yeah, man. Yeah. It was fun, man. My boy Pete, Blackout. Everybody's still doing their thing, man. Still cool with them? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They still working. Oh, okay. Putting out the music and shit. I've been focusing on film a lot right now, man. So I'm making my transition slowly but surely. Okay. Yeah. Ain't no I remember the whole way. Know. I remember you, um, was it? It was you and Ludacris. I had a club in Atlanta or something like that, if I ain't mistaken. My, I was at the bounce, man. Yeah, I, that's that what that it was. Bounce, I remember yeah, the bounce, man. yeah. That thing was crazy, man. Oh, I'm talking oh, that about, was man, 3,000 people every Saturday. Every weekend. I was Off in that joint, man. That I thing was crazy. That. So yeah. that was the, the, they talking about real Atlanta and this Atlanta. That was real Atlanta. That was real Atlanta, you feel yeah. Me, man? People real. from all over the place, all together, right there on Bankhead. That was going down. Yeah, man. Make so, or break you. So um, going back to when you when the when the when the when the song caught when mm-hmm. it first caught when did you know oh I got something? Um, like where was you at and when did you know like oh this is finna be big? Man, uh, Augusta man when we uh, you know we pressed the CDs up ourselves mm-hmm. like pressed up like a thousand CDs man when them CDs got back. People flagging me down in the street, man, just to buy them. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? People buying them joints five at a time. And mm-hmm. da, 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 da. I was like, this shit better than selling dope. This shit <laughs> no, going man. faster than <laughs> the reefer going. So right. it really just opened my eyes up. That first initial weekend that we got them CDs back, man, we talking about 1,000 CDs, man. The record store hollering at us now. Now they want, they buying them by the hundreds. Mm-hmm. And they selling them to other record stores all across the state, buying them by the hundred. So we getting eight dollars per CD, 
time to box and people coming to buy two boxes. He want three boxes. He want five. I'm sitting around here like you doing better than regular artists on their percentages. Yeah, yeah they independent where it's at. Damn. It's real. It's real. Damn, $8 I'm talking a about box. man. So to see this shit transition to where it become, it don't really excite me. You feel yeah. me, man? I really don't understand it. You mm -hmm. feel me, man? I'm from a whole another generation of that shit. So I'm like, man, psh, I wish no more playing GA would have been out with these phones and TikTok and man, shit. Man, like I was just about to ask you that. I'm gonna ask you a question that I always get into an argument with niggas about. I always yeah. be like, man, cause you was in that era where the North was still kind of floating and yeah. and and all the artists from the South. I mean, of course, Outkast was doing their thing and stuff like that, but mm -hmm. you was in that in that wave of us. Being taking above over. them, taking over yeah. really much. So yeah. I always tip it. I said, man, I hate to say this. I'd be like, man, I wish Pastor Troy, if Pastor Troy had came out around the time, you know, Jeezy, T.I. hit, yeah. you know, it'd been crazy. It'd have been, it'd have been stupid, bro. It was still the setup, man, yeah. because if I wouldn't have did what I did then, yeah. I don't think they'd have been able to do what they right, did. Right, right. You feel me, man? Yeah. I remember dropping them CDs, man, going to these different, uh, different cities across the Southeast, man. It was the first real rap like that Atlanta mm -hmm. that had broke the border. You feel me, man? Yeah. We were do I'm doing shows. I ain't just running around Atlanta. Now yeah. I'm going to Columbia, South Carolina. I'm mm -hmm. going to Charlotte and all that shit, man. Well, nobody from Atlanta doing that. Yeah, right. especially not solo, underground, yeah. dirty music like I was doing, you know? Yeah. So we dropped a lot of crumbs for niggas to got them go back and say, hey, you man, did. shit, we need to go over there. Hey, yeah, let's go over there. They, they fucking yeah. with Atlanta. Mm -hmm. so, so when did the label start calling? Um, the label started calling me off the rip, man. They had started calling off the rip because we were doing so good independently, man. You know what I mean? We were moving numbers. So, was it more so it was, you wanted to be famous by the time they started calling because you were doing so good on the independent end? Man, you know what? We had reached, we had really reached our peak. It, the, the, the album was getting bigger than us. You feel me? It was getting mm -hmm. bigger than them little, now we talking about these little 800 Mm -hmm. 900, well, 1,000 CDs. Now motherfuckers calling for 10,000 orders. Oh, yeah. Orders of 10,000. You feel me, man? Yeah. We're on this bitch. Okay, somebody yeah. gonna have to help with this shit. I know shit. that, right? <laughs> Distribution. So did, yeah. they, did they cut, did, when the deal came through, it was something that you couldn't refuse at the time? Oh, man, it was good. I mean, you know, I made my joint make sense, man. Independent, 600,000, fresh out of college. Hell yeah, let's run it. You know what I mean? So with Universal, it was cool. I did four. I had a four album deal with them, man. Mm -hmm. I did four albums. Cool. Oh. Even Swap No Swan, though. Now, now, the first album was Face Off, right? The first album I did was Face Off mm -hmm. with them. It was a mixture of... Uh, oh, we, the of, first? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Double I added album. probably Vice Versa and This The City, a couple more on there, man. That's how niggas used to do back in the day. They, yeah. they, the majors would come in, buy that album that's hot in the street, and then they want to put that out and add a couple more to it. So I came with... Uh, Universal Soldier next. Mm -hmm. What was the lead single for that? Was that the Timberland joint? Uh, yep, yep, yep. That was yep, the Timberland joint. So. Yeah, Universal yeah. Soldier. Now, that, that was a label move, wasn't it? You know it. Yeah, because I was it. like, that don't sound like P. I ain't never, man, man, dog. Mm -hmm. it's the, it had so much radio success, probably all that shit, but it still wasn't what I do. You feel mm -hmm. me, man? My crowd, my, my show, man, to this day, I probably performed that song 20 times. I, I'm, I'm sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm sure. sure. I mean, because, it just because, because you know we from down. What we you know, do? We know yeah, what we want. yeah, yeah. Virginia. When I'm up, when I'm in Virginia and DC and shit like that, they act like it's the baddest thing yeah. they <laughs> yeah, ever yeah. heard. So I got to work it into the mix down here. But down here in Atlanta and down south Georgia, I got some records that I ain't even got to go to that man. Just now, now, what what does you, do you feel like was your best body of work? Um, Other than the first one, I know the yeah, first one is mom. Universal Soldier showed a lot of range, but I was more excited about uh, probably that Face Off 2 album. Really? Because it was leaving the majors and going back independent, doing it on my own, man. Oh, man. And I really just didn't have no chain. You feel me, man? It wasn't no chain. I was just having fun. Back to making $8. Yeah. So shit, that'll make you like it. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> not real. Me, man. Yeah. man, we probably did a buck fifty. 170,000 units at $8 a piece. Ooh. 
That shit great. So now then niggas turn around and start giving away mixtapes. I'm like, what is y'all doing? Yeah. They, the game on that. <laughs> they didn't have right. distribution. Yeah. You know, they didn't know how to have, to have distribution. So they just started giving it away. I was like, man, y'all fucking the game up. Man, when I heard somebody say music is free, it is I true. said, oh. Now, I need to find a way way. something else to get into. Yeah. <laughs> but you got a little, you got a little partnership with uh, UGA, if I'm not mistaken. I'm with the Falcons. With the Falcons, yeah, okay, I'm okay. The Falcons, they come yeah. out to your music too, though, right? Yeah, Sometimes, yeah, yeah. yeah. Much, anything, yeah. Georgia, man. They gotcha. always repping for that down south Georgia boy. You know, the no more playing GA, but the Falcons, man, they just down with me, man. They came with a section uh, like the Dirty Birds Nest, man. They came to me at the beginning of the season last year. It was like, man, we want to make this just a hometown section, and we want you to be the leader of Man, that's what's up. I was like, up. all right, that's cool, man. Right there, Shit. Man. VIP, y'all, all through the season, everything. Hell, we win, Shit. it'll be showing up perfect. Nah, for real, for real, for real. <laughs> so uh, after Universal, I mean, after Face Off, you said it was Universal Soldier? Yeah. Okay, and that was the most successful one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Universal now, what did you came with after that? Was that by any means necessary? Oh, uh, uh, by any means necessary, was it last? Was it? That was my last one. Was Ryan Big on there? Yep. That was Ryan Big. Yeah, I think they counted. Uh, I think they let me count DSGB as an album. As an album. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. So that made my fault. Now DSGB, that's the one with Pop that puts on. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, how, let me ask you this, but did you know that was gonna be? Damn, big, fucking answer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When you play back that ass up, you got to play that right back. Yeah, yeah, man. It's so crazy, man, because uh, it was really before strip club anthems. You feel Mm -hmm. me, man? It was really before strip club anthems like that, man. So throwing that song out there, man, we really ain't know what it was going to do. But them girls grabbed that joint, gravitated to it, man. I hear it all the time. It, I hear it when they don't even know like I'm that. in the club. You yeah. feel me? I hear it, so it's dope. When you made it, like, did you know it when you made it? It was gonna be it was, oh, this is that this that one. I like that beat. You know what I mean? I knew that beat had paid potential. My boy, drama boy, man. Oh, drama boy made that. Yeah, drama boy made that joint, man. Drama boy was 17 years old Ooh, when he made that damn. beat. Damn. I'm talking about 17 years old. I'm giving this little boy five thousand dollars for a beat. Hell, we got the strip club rocking with the song. He can't even get in to see what the hell going on with it. Much Damn. love that boy Drummer, yeah. man. Much love to him. I did not know that. So Drummer Boy made that song. Man, I brought Drummer Boy minute, to then. Atlanta, man. I brought that sound to Atlanta. This man, so I pioneer, heard him man. with whoever. Pioneer, yeah. So after you had him. Me. That's when now that's when that sound. Yeah, I that need that. Gucci got it. Man, come on. I had Charlie Red. I had all that, man. Any nah. kind of beats or anything coming out of Atlanta. Now, also at your peak, man, let's move on a little bit. Like, you started, seemed like you had like a really, really good chemistry with Lil John. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, actually, you know, I think on Lil, to me, Lil John's Kings of Crunk, the best one he came out with. You know, oh, yeah. saying, another one of your biggest songs, mm-hmm. Throw yeah. It Up, was on there. Yeah, yeah. How did that come about? Man, dog, John, he had made some beats on the Universal Soldier album. Mm-hmm. And then Swap Back was uh, for me to do a feature on his. Okay. So we had to beat, they sitting around and stuff like that. But I rap, you know what I mean? They right. more, they ain't really rap like they that. They chant. Yeah, yeah, they mm-hmm. chant. So I just came with a throw it up joint just from knowing what kind of music we all been making. I was like, man, dog, this could work. Made up a little throw it up hook. Drop my verse, man. The, most, the thing I'm most excited about that joint, man, I freestyle my verses on Throw It Up. The whole song? The really? whole song. The Dang. first verse and the second verse. That's why I, I know I freestyle <laughs> yeah. it because I'm rapping so slow. Yeah. I'm thinking about what my lines. Saying? Yeah, it's the last nigga. It's the pastor. Yeah. But bro, <laughs> really, that blast, yeah. Yeah. But, bro, that, that verse, though, bro, like, went crazy. Like, in the club, when yeah. that shit used to come on, everybody was saying that shit word yeah. for yeah. word. Yeah. Bro. Yes. Like, like, that shit, that was different, bro. Not, yeah. but, but after that, like, you sound like I had like a little issue or something. Yeah, we ain't shoot the video for that. Oh, <laughs> feel me? Why he want to shoot it? Man, dog, you know, everybody had their own reasons and stuff like that, but. That was the biggest, other than get low or something. Bruh, intro on the album, mm-hmm. song number two. What's that? You feel me, man? Yeah, and back then, the Come on, song that's, two or three was the video That's the strongest shit you got. Yeah. You feel me, that's man? It. That's the joint that's going to have the video and stuff like that, yeah. man. But it would have been too big for me. You, you think feel that me, would have Hell yeah, man. Come on, why not? Damn. You feel me? It would have been too big for me. So I wasn't a part of the just the Atlanta harmony and everybody just yeah. come hug each other. I've always been competition. Right. If niggas ain't want to be around me with that belt, walking around that motherfucker, and they know my verse is going to be yeah. I think you're yeah. the best feature artist, bro. Come, Come on, on, bro. Like, best feature yeah. artist. They start doing like, features with me. Like, <laughs> Kill them. You feel Out me? Out of all the artists you work with, 
what was like your favorite artist? You probably worked like you know you mm. just like man. Every time we link up, it just uh. Uh, on the production side is DJ Squeaky, my boy up out of Memphis. Okay. On the uh, with the with the rapping and stuff like that, me and Player Fly, we get in and do our thing. Oh, and I it's straight Memphis chemistry, too? yeah. Okay. And uh, who else? Uh, I had a favorite song you did with Rich Boy. That shit was so damn yeah, hard. Yeah, Rich was hard. Rich was hard. That, that verse you laid on that, man. That, that was, was another so video, man. See, I'm so sick of man, that, man. y'all supposed to made a video for that. That was man. a video. Yeah. That was a video, man. Video so, in Miami somewhere. I, man. Like the tone of the, the song, I remember. It was I me, remember, him, yeah. and, un, and uh, Big Boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah him you and him Big, Big Boy. Boy. Yeah, that's right. Them, them features like that, when I know they got a budget, mm -hmm. I write my video, I write my verses for the video. Yeah. You feel me, man? So when I done wrote this verse for this video, damn it, I want to see it. Yeah. Man. They didn't ever come back so with it. So man, the radio yeah. had started playing that record on its own. Mm -hmm. And they tried to go against the grain with another record. Duh, that motherfucker didn't well, that work. Shit was it was cool, too. but it ain't do it. So, that so, joint was So doing. working with them big labels, that's kind of like a hassle a lot of times. Like. You know what? It's done changed so much now, man, that... I mean, now it's easier, but I'm talking about the, yeah, back then. Yeah, back then it was rough because you didn't have no freedom. You, a lot of times it was artist deals. Mm -hmm. It wasn't so much label deals. Right, right. So now everybody want to be independent. Everybody got their own label. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Let yeah. them tell it. So it's cool. I call my stuff major independent because I know I can reach over here and do some things on the major side. And I know I got some, you know, major connections. I know I can still get as dirty as I need to on the independent side. Mm -hmm. gotcha. Yeah. That made sense, man. Yeah. Um, so did you and LeJohn ever, you know, I mean, I'm sure y'all good now. Yeah, we but cool. But how y'all ever have a conversation about that? We cool. We still need to damn shoot this video for throw it up. <laughs> <laughs> right. I feel you. We still that. need to shoot this video for throw it up. Uh, going back, you also was like, that I remember one of the first rappers out of Atlanta, man, to work with Ludacris. Mm-hmm. I think you worked with T.I. on his first album. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. That joint, uh, I'm Serious. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that joint hard. hard, too. Um, Lil Jon, you yep. know what I mean? Do you feel like you don't get the respect you deserve when they name, you know, some of the, oh, the Mount Rushmore of Atlanta? Or, yeah. Or, or they just, they don't really bring your name in like they should. They don't want to. You know what I mean? They try to kick it like, oh, he from Augusta. They just make all kind of excuses right. to try to leave me out the mix. But right. everybody know what it is. I'm just glad that I don't. Live or die by that, you know mm -hmm. what I mean. Everybody that know, know. I mean, G's ain't from Atlanta, so you yeah. Know. My real fan base yeah. know, yeah, what I did. You oh, know, my yeah. my contribution to this shit, and they know it won't make you look as good. I, I don't understand why, because I give everybody they shine. You did something, mm -hmm. and you did that. That's yep. great, but the facts is the facts, and the truth the truth. No more playing. G.A. shook this room. <laughs> what? Trying to tell. Shook this room. I get mad when people always when they. Mention like the leaders of the South, they always mention TIG. I'm like, man, well, y'all forgetting Troy. Bruh. Jeezy. He was there. Jeezy ad libs, man. Shorty Red. You was on me. Jeezy, Lil J. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, man. But Lil J Shorty, album. I just thought about that. Jeezy shit that started popping till it went to, yeah, all my ad libs, man. I'm hearing my ad libs on that joint. Like, kinda, I, damn, I, this shit sound like me. Shorty Red tell me, man, yeah, man, I showed him how to ad lib off yeah. your joint. I'm like, damn, Shorty Red, you just done showed him my <laughs> secret. But right. I could hear it. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Well, if somebody else couldn't hear it, I could hear it because I had mm -hmm. been doing it for so long. I was like, damn. And to keep it cool, he just kept like, man, we're going to do this. We're going to do mm -hmm. that. We're going to do this. Because you know what I would have did. <laughs> right quick got on that <laughs> yeah. shit. But it's cool. Niggas done retired and shit. We ain't got no songs together and stuff like right, that. Man. I know why. Who going to say yeah? Me yeah. or you? Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. y'all so. remember you was on his, the little J, when he was little J, I think. But see, them niggas, they don't want to do Come it. Come shop with me. That's what it was. Yeah. They want to do it when they need it, but when they get to a plateau now, they don't it's me. Guy, it's yeah. me. It's all about me. It's all about me. Yeah. That one never my style. If that was a style, I wouldn't been on none of them niggas' albums. You feel mm -hmm. me, man? None of them. Yeah, man. I ain't had to do that. My first album ain't had no features on. Yeah, because you did. You, I mean, you kind of showed a, a lot of love to Ti even before he really got to that oh, to yeah. that level too. I was watching. Too. I remember Go that. Up, man. Yeah. You know what I mean? But I needed some more niggas in there. I was about the only solo artist. Around mm -hmm. here, still shaking something. Mm -hmm. It wasn't really going down on the solo tip like that with that kind of music that I was making. On camp, us, we were doing our things and stuff like that, but it was still local. One no major coming in to sign it just mm -hmm. yet. Nah, y'all had some hard shit. Well, okay. Yeah, man. I remember that. Uh, Oop camp, man. Y'all had, I remember you had that if we be acting up. Yeah, you know, man. Like, all them joints, man, man, dog. But it's crazy, man. All them songs is damn lines from. 
no more playing GA and yeah. shit like that, man. You know what I mean? The whole stuff, man. I say, uh, I say ATL ho at the beginning of uh, I'm made. I just say it. Yeah, mm-hmm. but they, y'all took that and made a whole song. A whole song, and now ATL ho is a. Uh, I'm saying it's a T-shirt. It's a, it's a, it's a everything. Y'all want to trademark that? Yeah, that, man. Yeah. That thing you know crazy. Like, that thing you literally crazy. go find a T-shirt in any gas station For right now. Man, and another thing that made my journey so hard and so raw. That I carry that belt everywhere I go on mm-hmm. them suckers. I had 50 niggas trying to sound like me. Mm-hmm. For real, for real. From the miracles to mm-hmm. the dramas to oh, the both of them. Arch Damn, and shit, Arch man. Yeah, I forgot about them. And then yeah. they came out with Holland trying to sound yeah. like a Pastor Troy. So I had to muscle my way to the top of all that too, man. So 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 who Pastor Troy listening to right now? Like who who intrigue you in the game right now? Like just, I mean, I, like I said, yeah. I know you probably be on your own stuff, but at yeah. the same time, like who you were now, give give me a few like, artists uh, that see it that get, you know give a little respect to. I like artists that I understand, like okay. I understand them. You know what I mean? Okay. I like for the I like for the music to match the person. Okay. So I like Kodak. You know what I mean? As right. Ignorant Kodak as this hard. Shit is, Kodak hard. It's him. You yeah. feel me, man? Uh, Lil Durk, he coming. I like the boy King Von, man. Oh, they all hard. Yeah, man. I like the boys who reminded me of myself. All these boys. You like NBA Young out. Boy? I ain't never getting into Young Boy. I ain't you never getting into Young Boy. You, ain't listen to, you like, you like, uh, you say you like Dirk, right? I like Dirk. Yeah, like Dirk. yeah, yeah. I like Dirk. I like Von. I ain't getting the, I ain't getting the Young Boy. I don't like him when, I don't, I ain't gonna say I don't like him when, but I hate. I don't even want to get attached to nothing that might got them go crazy. The situation might go mm-hmm. crazy, man. I hate that, man. I don't even want to be attached. Like the little hurt my little bro- my son had when uh probably Vaughn died. I was like, yeah. damn. He was attached. You know what I mean? He had learned this boy and stuff yeah. like that, man. With a lot of that shit these boys got going on, man, it make it it make it totally different than how it was when we was coming up. So so who you who you li- you listening to? I mean, like those people that you listening to right now? I'm listening, uh, like I say, I hear the dirt. I like what he's doing. I like how he's moving. I hear money bag. I like how he, I like how he's moving. Money bag, stuff like that, man. I just want to see these brothers here. You know what I mean? I don't yeah. care who it is, man. Just be smart enough to be here. Play the game for it being a game. You know what I mean, man? Mm-hmm. I'm 23 years in this shit. We done had beef with a million motherfuckers. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Just smart enough to goddamn live. Get home to your family. Get home to your kids. Whatever you got to do. Make that your move. Make that your motive, man. Let, let me ask you this, man. That's something I, I really want to know, man. Yeah. Was you ever able to find that birthday bash footage I'm when still CeeLo looking. Green brought you out? Man, I'm still looking, man. I'm still <laughs> looking. 1079, they got that on the website or nothing? Man, dog, bro, it was cameras then. That was a big thing to be out there recording that mm-hmm. joint then, man. Now, yeah. technology just done caught up with it. So, man, now everybody got a camera. Everybody right. got a phone, can capture these events. Mm-hmm. But if anybody would have saw can, can, that. Can you mm-hmm. explain to the people who's watching who may not be familiar yeah. what, what I'm talking about yeah, that man. day with Master so, P? And- yeah, man. So, I was the headliner for Birthday Bash that did. Oh, got to throw my boy Lil Baby in there. He be rocking. Oh, yeah, that's yeah, my baby. baby. That's my yeah. gangster. That's my yes, gangster. I love him. He remind me of so much of me. You yeah. feel me, man? Back here doing his solo thing. Yeah. Keep you, rocking, baby. You was little baby back then. Exactly. Mm-hmm. So this yeah. was my birthday badge. Yeah. You was this the headliner. Was, I'm the headliner. Yeah. Master P get when I'm headlining and hit the radio station up. Yo, Master P, I'll host the birthday badge for y'all free of charge. Take him off. Replace him with me. I had already faxed my contract back and everything, man. I was on a commercial already. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Man, come back a day or two. I'm off the show and P on the show. Just because they think the radio they, think, the, yeah, he, that yeah. he still got this shit on lock like that. What we got, Master P for for nothing? Yeah, damn, little Pastor Troy. But they didn't know what was going on the street, in these slow. streets. Mm-hmm. Yeah, man, they be slow to it. Man, Gip, Gip from Goody Mob called me. Man, was like, "Hey, yo, Troy, man, can't nobody take you off no show, man." You going with us. Mm-hmm. Come on over to the dungeon, and we're going to let you rock out. I'm like, man, I appreciate it, man. Hook up with them. Go over to the dungeon. We on the, Now we with them. We with the security. We riding limos and shit. Man, we get over there. Master P them got 
motherfuckers walking around with earpieces on, like the president and shit like that, man. Them yeah. motherfuckers <laughs> were paranoid. Me yeah. and Pete standing back there with two damn DSGB t shirts just watching everything. You just go got by, one nigga like, with you, that's it. Yeah, me and Lil Pete, we just sit up there like, these niggas don't even yeah. know what's going on. They leave the joint, they rushing them all out the back and stuff. We just watching them go by. Now it's Goody Mar turn to perform. Oh, so when that happened, P them were gone. Yeah, they leaving. Okay. Yeah, they leaving. Okay. Now it's Goody Mar turn to perform. Goody Mar come out. They like, yo, man, let me tell you how something about Atlanta. One thing about ATL, we stick together. Can't nobody take nobody out the show. This the A time. With that being said, come on, Troy. Oh my gosh. man, when I came out in that joint, that was yeah. viral before thought, viral, yeah. man. I'm talking about thirty thousand people. I'm talking about people jumping the fences. It's just going crazy out there, man. They thought you were Jay Z when you walked out. There. <laughs> Over with, man. I started wearing the belt after that weekend. <laughs> <laughs> I was just wondering, like, dang, why ain't nobody pulled up that footage? Yet, man, man, if anybody have that footage, man, please try to find it, man. We need that, man, <laughs> like to that, really man. show the story, man, man. you had, like, one of the biggest waves yeah. in at down here, period. Yeah, man. Real. Like, yeah. it was like, if, tr if you was on the flyer, it was sold out. Yeah. Yeah. Like, no matter what, if you was mm -hmm. on the flyer, you was sold out. I want to ask man. you about a particular song, though, man. Yeah. Because I don't think nobody ever asked you about this. Where is Rhonda? My girl, she down in Augusta, Georgia, like, man. Like, this, why she didn't rap no more? Like, why? You know what? I just, man, when she rocked that, she's still doing her thing, rocking and stuff, but that man. was just one that I had pinned for. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean, man? That she bro just was so hard, bro, with you in the background like that? Yeah, that, man. Like, bro, she that went shit. crazy. Like, right she right went right. crazy. That's a monster. Yeah. So, that song a monster. That's classic. Okay. So, so she just never really just jumped in it seriously or nothing? Uh, she still, you know, be doing her thing and stuff like that, man. It was kind of got caught up in the whole Augusta, Atlanta thing with the food oh, so down there. Oh, she from there, down there? Yeah, yeah. She from down there. And I'm from up here. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? And it's always safety first. You so, feel me, man? So stuff that I wish I could have did better, wish it would have been different, mm -hmm. but... I got to get home by all means. You so, know how that shit go, man. Mm -hmm. Rest in peace with my boy Young Dolph and all the other Rest little soldiers Dolph, that man. died in their hometowns or wherever they got their careers and stuff started from. It be that bullshit, man. Sometimes you got to get down, make, make, make the best decision, the smartest mm -hmm. decision. You feel me? So you made uh, Help Me Rhonda. It was more so you just wanted a woman on the track. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was my boy cousin who I was doing business with, man. That was his little cousin. I was, when I met her, Shot had a 45. I ain't even had no damn gun. I was like, this damn. motherfucker hard. <laughs> she ready to go. <laughs> yeah, man. So when I cranked that shit up, man, it wasn't nothing for her to come in there and spit it. I was so excited, man. I'm listening to her. I'm in one booth. She in the other booth. And I got my, I got the headphones on. She got the headphones on. Mm -hmm. So we actually doing that at the same time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's why you can hear me getting revved up with her, man. Yeah. She said it right. I'm just yeah, a real went. bitch. Yeah. I'm a real bitch. Uh, uh, yeah. I, like, uh, I was like, damn. She, like that song, bro. That, yeah. like, that was like a, uh, you didn't expect a surprise track on oh, Yeah, that. Yeah, mm -hmm. man. We you shooting know. that movie, man. I'm shooting that little hood movie. Okay. For that yeah. that joint helped me run it. The whole movie is already written. You feel gotcha. me, man? The whole story yeah. there. We just gonna shoot it, let y'all see it. Gotcha. Is you uh cause I know you got the belt. Yeah. You made the uh the song Champion, which yeah. was basically Bill Goldberg yeah. theme song. That shit was stupid, boy. <laughs> <laughs> like, 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 into wrestling like uh, Was you into yeah. wrestling? Or was you a wrestling fan back then? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what? I'm a marketing fan. You feel me, man? The yeah. marketing behind wrestling, man, yeah. all the stuff that they do, that shit yeah. is big business, man. They yeah. sold out shit two and three times a week, a week. all that, across the country. Then. Yeah, then, man. Yeah. This shit was crazy. So that was just, I'm so glad that I crunked that shit up when I did because now can't nobody take the belt from me, yeah, man. They nah. know I branded that shit. I felt like that song should have been bigger. Maybe because it was independent at the time. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It wasn't yeah. on no major. The that, major, yeah. That chanting pie. I like that. That thing was shit. crazy. Like, then you had the, 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 who made, you made that beat? Yeah, I made that beat. Bro, you killed that shit. Yeah, I'm like, because I, I didn't hear the drums on. I'm like, damn, yeah. he killed it. Like, bro, that, that I thought thing, that, that song was bigger, no. man. Yeah, like, that's like, hard. Like, like I, it should have been bigger. Yeah, now, yeah, Now, when you, yeah. when you started wearing the belt, mm -hmm. was that because of the birthday bad situation? That was off the birthday bad situation, just who I was ready to be for the South. They know I'm the champ of this shit. Exactly. Just the features, everything, yeah. just went all in one pot. This nigga's a champ. You I got feel, it. I feel um now after you you got a four album deal. Mm -hmm. Um did you want to go back independent or did you get yeah. more offers for for I wanted to go back independent because one thing about it you can always 
you can always uh you can always go back. You can't always leave. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you feel me, man? Mm-hmm. That shit like jail. Yeah. You can know if them who who that stayed in jail when the mother tell you you can go home. And nobody. <laughs> you got <laughs> that mother. You can always go back. Yeah, you you feel me? The mother tell you can Open go. Open arms, goddamn. Out. <laughs> you right. feel me, man? So that's how I kicked it. I can still go back and do. I still got situations with majors, but with the game changer, I wouldn't be going back as an artist. I'd be going back as a label. Mm-hmm. Mm. And that's the difference. You feel me? I wouldn't be going back as. I, I think you need. To, I points. think you need to give us one more, man. One, just yeah, one more. Yeah, oh, man, one I'm more. in the lab. I'm in the lab. I'm in the lab messing around right now with some hard shit. Like I love it now because I look up and listen to the shit now. It sound more like old Pastor Troy than it sound like yep. anybody. Yep. You feel me, man? Yep. It sound more like my sound than anything, man. Yep. All them drums and. Guns and bass and shit. Yep. How long we been doing that? And then, oh, and then with social media, it's easier to market it, man. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm watching it, man. I'm watching it with the films, man. We doing real good, so I want to definitely give them y'all, give y'all one for me to ride out into the sunset and get 100 percent focus on mm-hmm. what I want to do over here on the film side, man. We got a nice little film studio. I'm cranking up down here mm-hmm. in Atlanta, man. So. Just keep your eyes on your boy, Man Society Films. And I want to ask you a couple questions about some songs in particular, man, that a lot of people gravitate towards or want to know more about. Yeah. And vice versa. Yeah. What was that about? I mean, I know it's like, I, I know what the meaning of the song is. You know, yeah. some things seem this way, but they don't seem that way. But what 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 is your definition of how you mean when, when certain things is vice versa? Yeah, man. Um, It was just... Uh, like I started off at, at the beginning, man. Just or things were good or bad. Yeah, what mm-hmm. was good was really bad, and what was the bad was really good. Mm-hmm. What would you do, good or bad? You feel me, man? So, just coming with that concept, man. Just starting off with that one line, mm-hmm. it just went on and turned into forty-eight bars. You feel me, man? Mm-hmm. So, coming up from my upbringing, that was a song that I wrote while I was a. Uh, while I was away, like uh, down there in Augusta, okay. being my own man, right. you feel mm-hmm. me, doing my own thing. So now, there, man, in college as a freshman and shit like that, man, you see a whole bunch of shit, man. People who have been on lockdown all their life, people who this their first mm-hmm. fresh of breath out, you know what I mean? Yep. They just out here tripping. Mm-hmm. Me being from Atlanta, we had been clubbing and doing all this shit, mm-hmm. drinking, smoking, the whole nine. So me getting down there and seeing them motherfuckers doing it for the first time when I'm ready to retire. Right, you feel right. me, man? I'm getting to college and I'm through with the shit. It I'm ain't on, nothing new for you. Yeah, man. I'm ready to get the, a, a degree and get the fuck up out of here just to see them really just starting that shit. I just saw the whole thing vice versa from mm. Yeah, I interpreted vice versa totally different to be honest with you. Like yeah. you came out with vice versa, I was just thinking like, well, you know, I know your upbringing with your yeah. dad and stuff like that. So I said, well, you know, maybe just something he battling, he just trying to figure yeah. out, you know, it's like yeah. that would keep you balanced like you in the streets, but you got this other side that's keeping yeah. you balanced out. Yeah. So it's just like, you know, all of it, man. And I love it, man. And that's when you know you got a good song when it's that thought provoking Mm -hmm. you feel me man because man i said it as a poem i always laugh man because they booed the hell out me man when i said it as a poem they booed me down there in college damn for real yeah man we leave out that night Uh, man i'm talking i'm in my i'm in my dorm room i'm just like man these motherfuckers done booed me man i don't even want to go out this (laughs) goddamn room man yeah yeah i go out the room man everybody is talking about vice versa it's a conversation over here. Yeah. It's a conversation over here. Mm-hmm. The whole yard. Everybody's in groups of three to yeah. five talking about this song and they truths and they thoughts about yeah. this and that. You know what I mean? And stuff that they question, man. I was like. Almost like a Bible verse. Because, you know, when people read the Bible, everybody interpret it different ways. Yeah, man. So yeah. That, was, that was, yeah. That Let's was dope. Deep. Let's yeah. dope, man. I appreciate it, man. I'm glad he gave that joint to me. You feel me? Man, it's so crazy, man. When I wrote Vice Versa, bro. Man, when them lyrics started coming to me, man, man, my pen didn't stop. That shit was like a one sit down one night, man, probably 10 to midnight. Mm-hmm. None stop. Steady going. Damn. I ain't have to worry on no words to rhyme, mm-hmm. nothing. That shit was just. When I heard the beat, man, I ain't hit a beat for like two years later. And it was one of my homeboys that graduated from Creekside, my boy Carl Moe. Okay. Man, he gave me a tape. And it had that beat on there. Mm-hmm. 
he had gave the, the beat uh the tape to Big Boy and Big Boy passed on it. From Outcast. From Outcast. Mm. He wow. passed on it. That was and I got vice beat, versa. Man. I can't believe he passed up on that. Yeah, man. Yeah. You know, it was it was it was for me though. You yeah, feel me? It's for me and Big laugh about that, man. Wow. Um, uh, to me, on the first album, bro, I'm a true fan, bro. That's so, real. I appreciate it. Uh, the first album to me, like sonically, just yeah. like harmonizing the beat, the 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 way it's put together. To me, the best song in that fashion, like you could hear it played anywhere. Yeah. Was a uh, ain't no more sunshine. Yeah. Mm. Why yeah, you didn't that. put that on? Cause I don't think you put it on. The face off album. Uh uh uh. Cause I feel like that was like, bro, that, that was a beautiful the story. story huh? The story yeah. on it, like you can it, see it. I just thought you would have put that because how it sonically sounded. Man, it was uh, it was probably the label shit, man. You know what I mean? It was probably mm -hmm. something with the label like that. Being so early off in the game, it wasn't that much. They weren't giving nigga too much leeway with the shit. Yeah, that big sample, that Bill Withers sample was. It was a sample. Big. Yeah, that uh. Not not a sample. They call it interpolation. Oh, when somebody right. else played played, played okay. the music back, you but, made the beat for it though. Yeah, I made the beat. Yeah. Wow, damn. On them drums, and you and obviously you wrote it. Yeah. So it was, you know the story of it. I just like damn. That's like you ended it. You ended it perfect, bro. Yeah. You can see it. Shot. Yeah. Man. You can see it. Yeah, that's man. tight. I was just wondering, like, damn, why he ain't throw that on there? But yeah, like you say, mm -hmm. you had to, they'll probably have to pay more money for yeah, the, yeah, for yeah, the, yeah, for yeah, the yeah. That's all. That should be about a dollar with them, man. They like. Shh. Bill with a sample, ain't no sunshine. Mm -hmm. That bitch gonna be some bank. Not, you know a, I mean? not a Timberland record later mm -hmm. on. Like you, I think you kind of alluded to it earlier that that was a label move. Oh yeah, man. So it was the uh, single for the Triple X soundtrack. Right. right. You know. But what you I mean? also put it on Universal. Soldier. I also put mm -hmm. it on Universal Soldier, but I ate double off of it. I ate it. I ate off Ooh, of it yeah, the yeah, single yeah. for the gotcha. damn movie. And over here, Sony uh, partnered up with Universal. And covered up the video costs and everything, man. That was a five hundred thousand dollar video. Damn, you know, was well, that mean? your biggest record? It like, like biggest. sales wise. Uh, Universal Soldier probably is my biggest album. What's talking about single? That single. I don't even know if it's sold as a single. It was just a It was just a whole whole album wow. on, the, on the Universal Soldier album. Shit wasn't like it was now, mm -hmm. where you could separate twelve songs and all of them get monetized and. Yada yada woo woo woo, you know what I mean, man. Shit, nigga putting up singles now, like just say just say an album back in the day. I will turn in an album. They wouldn't be you wouldn't be expecting to hear from me again in a year and a half after mm. they break down these damn yeah. singles and push this album every three months. We're gonna go to another single. If it's another one, man, we talking about four singles every three months. That's a year, ain't it? Yeah, basically, that is. Yeah. You feel me, man? So. Sh now, I'm one of the one. The first when I went back independent, man, mm. I went to dropping that shit like goddamn French fries. <laughs> you, could, you could just do yeah. what you want. That's you know it. Yeah, a lot of niggas was, just, was jealous of how I was just boom, boom, boom. Man, we I can't drop nothing for a year. Mm -hmm. Now everybody back home, the independent tip, independent tip. Yeah, I'm sitting up here like, yeah, shit. I've been over here. Shit, tell me about it. Let's go. Y'all feel you on that, man. It's the independent. I feel like now people want to go independent more. Man, but mm -hmm. the thing about it is you got to understand what worked best for you. I wouldn't mm. be this independent champion if I didn't get the taste of that major lifestyle. You feel me? Facts. So I'm telling them boys, man, it ain't nothing wrong with going over here to the majors with your business cards and getting all your contacts mm -hmm. and stuff up. I don't give a damn if it's just an album deal, two album deal. Yep. Go over here, get all them connects for yourself. Then when you get back out there, you got them. You can still call Plugged these people. In, yeah. You feel me, man? You can still hit these people up. Mm -hmm. The ones that fuck up be the ones that go over there and just depend on the label. Oh, yeah, man. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. They got the label got it. The yeah. label got it. The label yeah. got it. The motherfucker drop you. You ain't got nobody phone number. Exactly. You got them sitting around this motherfucker. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Now, um, let's go back to like the 21-year-old Pastor Troy. Yeah. You know, the, the hungry. Man, I'm ready to eat anybody's ass up. Yeah. Where was you? when you first heard No More Playing GA on the radio? And and, oh. and, and, and was it like different compared to, because nowadays his song on the radio is different. It ain't the same yeah. feeling. Yeah. I'm sure back then you probably lost your damn mind. Man, you know what? I was mad. Really? Because they should have been playing. <laughs> right, you right, feel right. me? <laughs> yeah, it took too long. Yeah. All the bullshit yeah. uh, with the radio and shit like that, man. This shit been the hottest street song on the street. For two, three months. No, no, no. But did they play it on their own or did they play it because y'all were pushing for it? Um, they finally got down with it, but hell, they had it for so much longer. 
Mm-hmm. They had it already. You feel me, man? And I ain't know. You know what I mean? That's just the innocence of not knowing. You know, mm-hmm. being new in the game and stuff like that, man. <laughs> Excuse me. It's a whole protocol system to it. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I just didn't understand it. You know what I mean? Just good music and as hot as it is in the street, damn the protocol. It need to be playing now. You feel me, man? So that's why I was with it. Well, so that's funny to say. That's funny for me to even remember when they did play it that first time. I was mad as a motherfucker because they should have been playing it. Damn, I can't. Yeah, I, I ain't gonna lie. Cause when I heard the song, it did take about four more months before I actually heard it on the radio. <laughs> like that. We were bumping it anyway. We were bumping yeah, it all the hell out. Yeah, I mean, like we already had it. Like we had the yeah, shit. Yeah, you had. Then like then when I heard it on the radio, I remember I went crazy. Like damn, they playing past the fucking. Like I couldn't yeah, believe yeah, this yeah, shit. Yeah, you know yeah. What yeah. I mean? It was good, man. You know what I mean? You know, thankful, grateful, but at the same time, I was like. It's some shit that is. You hear me? This was this was supposed to been going on. You know what I mean? All yeah. that stuff real, man. It's still everything circulating around this shit, man. It ain't nothing new. Have uh, any of the big dogs? I mean, I guess you can call them big dogs in Atlanta. Mm-hmm. Ever reached back since 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 you was one of the first ones? Or, or even in a small way, like hey, yeah. you know, like yeah. um, um, come do this show with me or Ludacris. Oh yeah, 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 man. But it'd be more so my boy Ross. Ross called me out to do anything. Rick he ain't Ross? in competition. With oh wow! Me. You feel me? He ain't in competition with me. I ain't in competition with him. Mm-hmm. He know what I do. I know what he do. He'll call me out to his show, man. Stop the goddamn set and pass the mic, man. While I'm up there rapping, he motherfucking rapping that shit word for word with me, man. Damn. That's and that's dope, love right you know there. To this mean? day, to this day, shit. To this day, damn. Recently, some big joints too, man. Yeah. I love it. I appreciate him for that, man, because he. Respect it and he understand how hard a nigga work to put this shit down. You know what I mean, man? To see artists like Ross singing them words, them lyrics word for word, the vice versa, mm-hmm. and we ready and shit like that, man, it really make me appreciate what I put into this shit. I man, agree. future, I see future out and about. You know, me and him, his birthday is right there together, so he always invite me to his birthday parties and everything, man. Mm-hmm. We kick it real good, man. For future to goddamn every time he see me to call me legend. That's gangster, man. Damn, you know what I mean? Up, I respect that from yeah. uh, from niggas. That, hell, you know what I mean? Came religion yourself in this shit, man. Yeah. You know what I mean? So I'm straight. You know, Pastor Troy's straight. The only thing I ain't going to let him do is forget. You, you feel bro. me, man? You oh, <laughs> yeah, ain't going to let him uh-uh. forget. Yeah. You shouldn't, bro. Like, ain't going to let him forget. You a whole fucking legend, man. Like, That's real. Like, straight up, man. Uh, you also got the DSGB radio, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, man. Right? I do DSGB radio, man. You know, I was doing, I've been doing radio seven, eight. Well, yeah, I need to call yeah. you, bro. Yeah, 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 man, bro. We've been doing this underground radio. It's so dope, man, because I got it so figured out. We've been so ahead of the curve. When the pandemic hit, we was already in the game doing mm-hmm. the independent radio and everything, man. We just watching motherfuckers trying to figure this shit out. Motherfuckers <laughs> yeah, talking yeah. with air through their mics and stuff like that, man. Right. I'm just sitting there like, well, all you got to do is buy this one piece and your whole shit will change. Yeah, <laughs> you feel yeah, me, man? Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, man. I still ain't tell them. <laughs> you sure? Yeah, man. I wouldn't either. It's like that, though, man. So with that, man, I when people got into the whole radio wave, I took my game up and we started messing with TV. Mm-hmm. So I got Lit Street TV now. Okay. Um, it's on the app. It's on the Roku TV, Amazon Fire Stick, all that good stuff, man. Right now, we're showing a whole bunch of independent videos, but we're about to get into programming. Okay. Just directly on the independent show so follow us man it's at lit street tv you can go at, uh look at it at lit street dot tv download the app on your roku amazon fire stick mm-hmm. google play store you know app store apple app store it's there man so, and i think that's gonna be a real big thing for us man just the independence and the technology that's going on right now man even y'all mm-hmm. boys with the podcast man yeah. go on the shit, get the shit cracking y'all can get y'all a 30 minute slide on the damn <laughs> show right. oh yeah oh yeah we definitely man. come through oh good yeah. um how many albums have you dropped that you know of um, that you can remember i just want to i just want people to see how hard you done worked out here in these streets man dog you know what when you get to working hard like that man first thing you do is stop count mm. oh, you feel mm. me man dog gotcha. you know what i mean so I took pride in that, man. You know what I mean? On that independent tip and having that freedom to drop as I wanted to, yeah. it only made sense, man. Come on, we got them. I'm dropping quarterly. Mm-hmm. The album Life and Change. Now music so much faster. Yeah. You, know, you ain't now. got that luxury yeah. no Maybe more. Two weeks. You feel me, bro? Oh, that God. shit old. You feel yeah, me? Two weeks. Over, that shit baby. old. I'm so glad 
that my songs got into these people's system when they did have time to Six learn them and get eight, into eight, the yeah, album yeah. and stuff like that, man. Because right now, man, I'm sitting up here like, damn, this song was hot as hell last week. Yep. <laughs> This nigga ain't got no shows this month. Yeah. Can't even get a show. Yep. Yeah. You feel me? Off a song that just Dang. had the radio yeah. rocking. Yeah. Can't get a show. Me, I'm booked. You feel me, yeah. man? We out there. What? They want to hear that vice versa. They want to hear mm -hmm. we ready. They want to hear throw it up. They want to hear time. Ronda. Yep. They want to shake their ass apart that pussy. My show set, man. I can get, I can I can step outside. Get on 20, go east or west, get on 75, 85, go north to south, and I can pull over and get some money. Man, your music aged well. I'm That's talking about, real. I be watching some of these um, versus battles. Yeah, and, they play and, it. And, and, and some of them are good. And like my partner was telling me, man, some of them just horrible. Like some of these people's music just age bad, bro. Yeah, it's just yeah, like, why are we yeah. even playing it right now? Yeah. But yeah. your music aged very well. I mean, it man, can still what? go to this day. You know what, bro? And the, and the big difference that I like and appreciate about it is I gave y'all boys that music. Yeah, look at what you said. Y'all boys in middle school. Yeah, man. I can teach you something. You can learn something when it's like that. Ain't no nigga really teaching you too much. It. I'm 22 already. Mm -hmm. 23. Yeah. You feel me, mm -hmm. man? And that's what got a lot of them boys got caught up in. That's why that music ain't aged like that because it wasn't a part of they the child. Yeah. You feel yeah. me, man? Yeah. No, you think about that shit. Y'all niggas talking about on the bus. Yeah. The memories, man. Yeah. You feel yeah. me? Yeah. Like some well, real what? memories from that shit. So. That's a dope thing that I got going in my advantage, man. So many people who done mature to 30, 35, I'm 44. Mm -hmm. So motherfucker 40 coming up to me, man. Troy, man, when that came out, it was just, I, yep. I was in the band. I went to HBCU. <laughs> we used to play it every yeah. time Atlanta got together. Yeah. Uh, you know, man, so them stories. And that's another thing I want to tackle with the HBCU and a lot of your community work you're doing that people yeah. don't know about, man. If you yeah. want to just share a little bit of that. Man, dog, so um, actually the next event, we got a big Easter egg uh, hunt coming up at Washington Park. Okay. Man, V103 jumped down and sponsored her. So my boy Greg Street, little bankhead, gonna be out there, man. We probably gonna give away a $1,000 uh, worth of prizes and stuff okay. out there to the kids. But I love it, man. You know, being a pastor's kid, Easter, one of my favorite yeah. holidays. Anyway, mm, man, so food. just to start mm. making this thing, just to get back, let these children see that, you know, people love them, support them, mm -hmm. want to see them doing better. You know what I mean, dog? One thing we're going to do out that day, man, is have us a prayer. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just with everybody out there, all the kids out there, man, just just putting protection over mm -hmm. them, man. You know what I mean, man? You hear these stories like I do too right. often. You know what I mean, right. man? So if this is a little it's Easter egg hunts to make the community get a little bit safer and a little bit tighter. I miss tighter. Easter egg hunts, man. I miss man, stuff like on, that. Man, come on, man. That's that camaraderie, man. Yeah. You know what I mean, dog? Damn, just getting together for funerals. Yeah, mm -hmm. right about that. I, yeah. Before we get out of here, man, let me ask you something because you were talking about, you know, us growing up on music. Who did you grow up on? Man, I grew up on, man, I was blessed. My brother's five years older than me. Mm -hmm. My bro Al, man. And it was such a blessing to have him in my life because I never would have been as successful as I was mm -hmm. without him because he the one. Brought all the rap into the house. You feel me, mm -hmm. man? He had to sneak all this shit in. Right. I just your dad was a problem. Yeah, he was the one getting caught with it, <laughs> right. but I was the one right. enjoying it with him. Right. You yeah, feel right, me, right, man? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I got N.W.A. off the rip. Fuck oh, the police okay. and yeah. da, da 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 da. You know what I mean? I was listening to this shit, mm -hmm. a kid, mm -hmm. loving it, loving it, loving it, and uh, just to with him being. He just he just kept me on whatever was cool. I just remember the nigga just coming home, just like, uh, hey yo man, we ain't listening to Michael Jackson no more. He gay. I'm like, <laughs> what the fuck? Goddamn, yeah. what happened? Nigga, yeah. this shit was gay. Yesterday we were moonwalking. Right, right, right. He coming there, man, just flip the game. We B-boys now. We wear our hats like this. I'm like, shit, all right. Real hip hop. Yeah, Got me yeah, a chain, yeah, yeah. put me in some fat boy <laughs> yeah. laces in my pumas, yeah. and hell, we B-boys now. Yeah. 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 So I love it, man. You know what I mean, man? Growing up to it like that, man, I listened to it. I was a real student of rap. I'm, I'm right there competitively with rap age. Mm -hmm. So I saw when that first shit. birthed and took off. Yeah, yeah. man. When I, I saw it, like, Beat Street and Breaking and all that shit. Mm -hmm. We went and saw this shit at the movie theater. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm seven, eight years old, man. 
Beat Street, man. I see Lee up there. Them motherfucker pop locking doing this shit. Talking <laughs> yeah, about they getting yeah. paid and shit. I'm like, you try to figure it out, <laughs> right? <laughs> this is it. Yeah, you feel yeah, me, man? Yeah. Yeah. And to have a career all these years later, mm -hmm. from what I saw mm -hmm. at seven, eight years old, it's it's crazy to me, man. I, I watch that shit right now. I still watch Beat Street right now, and go back to old National Seven when they had the theater here, mm -hmm. bruh. Man, my dad sitting there. It's a big, it's a big dancing scene in the movie. Mm -hmm. right. Man, my dad sitting off in there. I'm my little sister next to him. I'm here and my big brother here. Mm -hmm. Man, the dance scene, come on, man. The whole movie theater gets up and starts break dancing. Everybody's in the aisle. Oh, shit. It's like we in yeah. Yeah. It's soul training this motherfucker. Everybody dancing while they dancing on the screen. So sit there, you were Bro, we the only three motherfuckers sitting down. <laughs> bro, reach over there. Pop some drill side. You ain't with this yeah. bullshit. Yeah. Bro, bro say, man, ask dad, can we dance? I said, nigga, you the one want to dance. You ask him. <laughs> man. He like, man, ask him, man. Bro, I reached over there. I was like, dad, can we can we dance in the aisle? Man, Pops looked at me like, yeah, y'all just stay right here. What? This nigga said yes? <laughs> nigga, I came off the chair. I'm talking about I came off the chair with a flip. Popping shit. on the head. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> over with. And since then, you were hooked on it. Gone. Yeah. I got to have it from right. the graffiti and everything, man. I can draw. I do all that shit. Oh, so you, you, you. I love it. It, 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 of it ate me. It ate me all the way up. Them yeah. songs, man, I'm talking about. You can play old classic. Songs, man, I call out them artists, rap them motherfucker with them from New York, the mm -hmm. East Coast, to the back to the West Coast and shit like that. Just to be a part of the homage that I pay to those other artists mm -hmm. and other places and stuff like that. To be one of the artists who get that kind of homage for down here, mm -hmm. shit, deal. Can't beat it. <laughs> did did deal. you ever catch Flack on, uh, uh, I think it was It's On down here when you said, uh, like or the little the little like on the second verse you was like fuck all y'all up north did they yeah, ever yeah. did anybody ever uh -uh. come back about that they knew it when I spoke to uh, Raekwon and them from the Wu Tang that was about the so only they person I that? spoke to yeah 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 them yeah. niggas like that shit man they was like that shit was so good we got <laughs> we got it you yeah. know, we understood that shit you know. So, bro, you, you can hear the old boys. You ain't give a damn what bro, you man, ain't so give a fuck, man. Man. bro, man. <laughs> <laughs> and what was so crazy, man? I'm talking about was really about all that ready for all that. Well, yo, man, bro. man yeah. so young, man. I'm talking about, man, I thank God every day that a nigga made it. Yeah. You feel me, bro? Because we were damn sure trying every day yeah. not to. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I was like, hey, I like that nigga didn't care what he said, Shorty, bro, man. We I ain't gonna done. lie, but for about a good year, I wouldn't listen to nobody from up north, bro. I was yeah. like, oh, like I swear to God, yeah, man. Yeah. Bro, it, but we need it. That era, we needed that time. Man, Atlanta ain't been down since No More Playing GA came out. Thanks. We still been yeah. that city. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about people. Since hit, then, we've been number one. We've been number one. Mm -hmm. Bruh. Yeah. People caught me. I, I, I met so many people that told me that they moved here. heard a song, or heard one of my songs that moved here. Yeah. I man, that just yeah. made me want to move to Atlanta, man. I moved here. This, this, this. I'm yeah. like, dope. Yeah, man, I believe it. Before Everybody we, uh. You got, you got now I'm about to say that about a good 20 years. You think about it, it's 2022. Yeah. That was what, 98, 99? Man, come on, 98, 98, 99. We've been holding it down for a minute. still on top. That's yeah. 24 years. Man, come yeah. on, man. Yeah. That shit was big, bro. That shit was big. That no was more playing GA. No Limit was the biggest label in the rap game. Mm -hmm. For a nigga to come and do anything to dismantle that, where they from? I, I ain't gonna lie, man. People talk about, you know, T.I. kind of ended little Flip career. I ain't saying you ended his career. Yeah, yeah. But you, you damn so got we the label we made, up we, out of him. We like, made our stance. Like, you like, feel me, it man? It was different for No Limit from that point on. Yeah, mm -hmm. man. For Cause, real. Because if you remember, I'm sure you do. Yeah. We was probably, like, other than Louisiana, we, we was, was probably number, number one. Like, repping No Limit. Number Georgia one. was number one playing No Limit show. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. No, like, number one. And then when you came on, it was, that shit was out of here. Atlanta was a yeah. city like that, man. That's what I had to get us back into. Like, man, dog, we hard down here. We gangster down here. We ain't got to right. goddamn mm -hmm. keep on riding this shit. Yeah. Right. No, And I love them niggas in New Orleans. And them niggas in New Orleans love me, man. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about, man, I go out there, Bourbon Street, the whole nine, the damn ride out, no niggas from the Calliope, everything, man. They were like, Troy, 
we love you down here, nigga. Yeah. We love that goddamn yeah. shit. You dropped yeah. that motherfucking yeah. shit, nigga. Yeah. It was just real. It was just perfect timing, man. Perfect yeah. timing. But before we get out of here, man, you got anything to tell the people what, what all you got going on? Man, you kind of touched on some stuff. Bro. Yeah, man. Just stay down with me, man. Just check out. Uh, I got two movies up. You can check them out on Tubi, Amazon Prime, all that good stuff, man. It's called uh, one called Down to Come Up. It's featuring me and my boy, Charlie Lowe, and my girl, Milan B. Mm. Real dope story, man. It's the last thing my boy, Charlie Lowe, did uh, before his passing. Rest mm-hmm. in peace. And uh, then we got We Was Homeboys. That's another hood classic, man. People just love the storyline to that joint, man. My movie's tight, man. I write, I write tight stories, man. Hell, I can write. So y'all be looking for some more movies from me, man. Tyler Perry. You ain't gonna be able to tell these stories. I'm gonna be able to tell, bro. Hey man, it's your boy Shaw. It's your boy G Downs. Hey yo, man, and uh, what's it called? Ambrosio. Oh, uh, Ambrosio. I wear two X. Let's get it. Baby. <laughs> Send my boy some merch, man. Yeah, man, speaker podcast. We out of here. All right, love. Uh,